Hello, this is Y'all Weasel, and this is the Commodore 64. Ah, oh, yes, named so because it has an incredible 64K of RAM. Man, 64K RAM system with 38,911 basic bytes free. This is a emulator of the Commodore 64, of course. I wouldn't drag out my poor old friend to, uh, to record Let's Plays. But, along with this emulator, I have a copy, well, along with, uh, this, this system, I have a copy of, uh, Weird Dreams. Weird Dreams was a game I played while younger. This is actually, a, a archival of that diskette from my youth. And I shouldn't have played it when I was younger, because it is a truly, truly strange game. 95% sure that whoever wrote this was very, very high, much LSD used, while, uh, while they wrote this game. But let's go ahead and load Weird Dreams, and the weirdness starts even just with the loading screen. Loading weird dreams. This is slightly atypical. There we go. That that's very weird dreams. That bit. Uh, and this is this is very strange too. But that's weird dreams, all right. The flashing border. Usually it would flash different colors, but not have those strange lines. That's a weird dreams thing. Here's the title screen. Woo! There we go, there's the weird dreams music. This game is more bizarre than you can imagine. I, I'm telling you that now, we haven't even gotten to the game yet. Uh, I know a secret. No, it doesn't just change the music, it gives you infinite lives, which is mandatory, because this game is impossible. Weird Dreams came with a hint booklet, a manual, and a novella. Only like, what, 80 pages, something like that? A, a short novel in the form of a manual, except there was actually a story. Which also, like, somebody's bizarre LSD delusions was the, uh, the explanation of this. I am using my controller. Uh, like most Commodore 64 games, it was controller controlled. Uh, the reason being, nobody had invented WASD yet. WASD was yet to be created. And, uh... The, uh, the keyboard controls of, uh, of the Commodore 64 didn't involve a useful cursor, a set of cursor keys. So even though this game would just as well have worked with cursor controls, uh, that was never going to happen, not on the Commodore 64. So I'm using a analog joystick, of, even though it's, it's completely digital controls. That, that's just how it was in the 80s. Believe it or not, that, that's, just, that's just how we rolled. Hey, I made it out of that first area. Loading, please wait. That, that area sometimes takes me, like, a long time. It only took me 59 seconds this time, so that's pretty good. Oh god, nightmare time, it's a giant bee, time to run, time to run. Hey, 30p for four shots, oh god, getting out of here. Okay, we got away from the giant bee, now what? What, what else could possibly be awaiting us after the giant bee? I'm gonna cut out these loading screens eventually, but look at this, look at this. You needed to see, you needed to know the loading screen. So, here we are, in the Hall of Mirrors. No entry to some of the mirrors, but I happen to know that at the far right and far left we can get in. I happen to know that because I've played this game, so let's go to the far right. Yeah, loading! Please wait. Woo! Loading. Yep. Like I said, I'll cut these out soon. Not for now, though. Here we are. Well, here's secret number two. I am actually going to use save states, because mandatory. Okay. Now, in this area, I need to grab this little stick, and then nightmares happen. Now, the controls are exactly as confusing as you imagine they might be. To do that, I hold back and press the single button on the Commodore joystick. Oh, yes, there's only one. By the way, oh, 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 my volume's way too loud in my head. I need to turn it down, but there are too many nightmares. Okay, my heart rate is up to 90, as you can see. Uh, my heart rate should not be a problem in this area. There we go. 
I'm making this look easy. This is about as far as I can reliably get, but trust me, this is not easy to figure out. Uh, the controls are very mannequin-y, everything is very slow, so, okay, I'm gonna press left, press left, press left, press left, there we go, finally I'm moving. So, it's a very slow and mannequin -y process to attack. Uh, well, first off, every screen has different moves, so, you know, here are these moves, you're seeing them for the last time! <laughs> Uh, but to attack, you have to hold the direction and press the button here. And I'm gonna save state again! Saved again, because I have never made it past this screen. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Aha! Okay, I thought I might need to catch the ball. So once it stops trying to eat my face... Here's what happens when you die. That's the evil person. She might be nude, but I mean, not a lot of pixels, so I don't think I need to censor this. And then, loading some more. It is not the fact that you load a lot that requires save states. You'll see what requires save states in a moment. Loading, loading, loading forever. Do, 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 do. There we go. I'm back here again. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna load my save state. There we go. This is a better spot. So, this seems to have been the right place, then I can throw it back. She catches it and throws it back to me. So, do I just need to do this a bunch? She seems perfectly satisfied. Oh, okay, I needed to back off a little bit more there. Naturally, you're not- Ooh, whoa, whoa, things seem to be slow- slow down- slow down city! Whoa, what- what's happening with the slow down city here? Okay, I reloaded and no slow down this time. So, I might need to back off a little bit further each time? Oh, well, I needed to back off further than that anyway! Here we go again! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try, like, here. Yeah, okay, that, that seems to be plenty of distance. Let me back off a little bit more, though. Okay... Got another one. I don't know if I need to get it to eat her. Can I walk closer? Hmm, I don't- the thing is that the moment I stand up, it throws it, and that would suggest that I cannot walk closer. I'm actually gonna back off a little bit more, because it seems to be mouth-faced a little bit longer. Is, is she- is she- I'm not even gonna get to show you the nightmare animation of what happens if you miss. <laughs> uh, well, other than the ball eating you, there's another thing that happens. Do I... Mm, I must need to move closer, because this is not right. I, oh, well, mm, I've been eaten. And here we go again! <laughs> let me let me show you what... Oh, go, wait, wait, run away, run away. Let me show you what happens if you just outright lose the ball. Oh, hello, friend! She has a knife! This, I believe, is an inescapable scenario, because if you walk up while she's not holding the knife, then you don't die immediately, but then she stabs you anyway, and you can't get past her, so hooray! Like I said, this does come with a hint booklet, which is mandatory, but, uh, I haven't used it yet. So, do I... Oh, what? Okay, if I stay too long, it eats me. Just imagine that every time I had to go all the way through all that crap again, instead of load state. Doink! So, can I move closer? Of course I can't, it's gonna eat me now. Yeah, see, it ate me. Stupid cannibal, well, I guess it's not a cannibal because I am not a soccer ball. Hmm. Here we go again! So, stand here-ish. And then I can catch it and throw it again, but then what? Well, this is obviously a death trap. Dang it! <laughs> Getting out the old hint book, I have actually a photographic version of the hint book, I took pictures of it. The The way the hint book works, you're supposed to tally up how many hints you used, and they each have a fee, like $10, $20, whatever, for each hint. I'm not doing that, because this game is impossible, it's ridiculous. <coughs> um... The hedges in the background here are important, most are filled with strange shapes. Position yourself inside the hedge that is empty. Crouch to pick up the ball when it goes past the hedge with a round shape inside it. Timing is crucial. Oh, if you catch the ball six times, the girl will start towards you and not... Um... 
Okay, I guess I need to catch. Ooh, whoa, didn't mean to do that. I guess I need to catch it six times. Let's let's try catching it six times. I did just waste a bunch of time. So all of them have strange shapes. What are you talking about? Some of the hedges have strange shapes. Yes, for instance, all of the the hedges. That was one. That was two. Here we go. Here comes number three. It said six. I must have done six before, though. Four. Five. Okay, here's six. It said she'll start coming towards you. She's not coming towards me. You lying prick! You said she'd come towards me! Oh, what? What, what, what? What just happened there? What? 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 <laughs> I think it's time to fast forward and figure this out. I don't get it! I don't get it at all! I don't get it! Sometimes I can catch it, and then I can throw it back, and then there's no- It says timing is crucial, but there doesn't seem to be any timing to it, and I throw it, and it does something random, and then she throws it, and it does something random, and I think I need to get closer somehow, but every time I get closer, she throws it in a very extreme way, and then it kills me, and then am I supposed to time my picking it up somehow? Where is the timing crucial? I don't get it! What am I doing wrong? I sh Okay, <coughs> I'm going to sit here and hold the ball while I read all of the hints for this area. This little girl is definitely not all sugar and spice, as we well know, as we know well. That's not an ordinary soccer ball. Also, clear, you'll get to practice throws. Use the time to look around. I'm looking around. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. I see this thing. Ooh, what? Somehow moving the mouse onto the screen caused him to stand up? That's weird. Uh, okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, you'll get two practice throws. Hint four, the hedges in the background are important. Most are filled with strange shapes. Well, there are only three hedge shapes. One of them is just sort of a tree. The next one is this weird bulbousy kind of tree. And then there's a hand. Okay. Position yourself inside the hedge that is empty. I is that this one? It's not empty, it has a tree in it. Crouch to pick up the ball when it goes past the hedge with a round shape inside it. Timing is crucial. Huh? Hint six. If you catch the ball six times, the girl will start towards you. Lie? Hint seven. When the girl gets within range of one bounce of the ball, release it. Okay, so obviously I'm supposed to get the ball to eat the girl, but I can't make her come towards me. Because I don't get it. I Whenever I get anywhere closer, the ball just eats my face and my entire body. I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I must have been doing that for like 20 minutes. I don't get it. I don't understand. What are you supposed to do? Is it possible that I'm going in the wrong order and I've already screwed? I'm gonna go back a hint. Um... I know, oh, the hints are so useless! Yeah, I'm obviously doing this in the right order, but I... Gah! I, I am, I am beyond confused. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, I know I said this game was ridiculous because it's weird dreams, but good lord. So I'm going to try being here for no reason. There must be something about, like, right when it lands on the ground, you can catch it or something, but I cannot get the timing. The timing is magic. <laughs> Instead, you get two practice throws. So maybe I need to be right here, right where it landed. No, that didn't help any! 
That didn't help one iota. Okay, maybe I need to go cry a lot. I don't understand. And if I tr okay, okay, I am now holding the ball. If I press the button, nothing happens. If I press back, it releases it. And if I press forward, it eats m me. Usually, but not this time. There must be some... <laughs> it says timing is crucial, but I don't even slightly understand the timing. Which is bad, because timing is crucial. Crouch to pick up the ball when it goes past the hedge with a round shape inside it. Is that the middle one? So, am I supposed to be stand? I'm supposed to be standing in front of this hedge, I guess. And crouching when it goes in front of that hedge. I don't understand how the timing is crucial. It seems like I can crouch any time I feel like. Crouch. Go. The thing is, she's never coming towards me, so I don't understand how the timing is so crucial. Do I... am I supposed to be doing something with the button that I... it's a Commodore controller. There is one button and one... Uh, and, and a stick. That's, that's all you get. So, if I'm some... WHAT?! IT ate ME THAT TIME! WHY DID IT EAT ME?! <laughs> I hate this game! <coughs> let's go elsewhere. It's not gonna help any, but let's go elsewhere. After a brief load screen. So first off, I believe that I can somehow- yeah, if I- if I just press the button, then I can even walk through the center mirror. But that'll just bring me back to the cotton candy machine, I believe. Maybe I missed something earlier with that, and the- the rest is, like, unplayable without it? Uh, reading a cotton candy hint. It- it- yeah, okay. You hint too, you have to leave the cotton candy machine in order to progress in the game. What a shock! The fairground. The giant bee will kill you if you don't slow him down. It suggests that I need to use the, uh, the cotton candy to distract the bee, but I didn't seem to need to do that. I seemed to just need to walk fast enough. So, I don't know if I accidentally broke the game somehow. Have I mentioned that it's impossible to grab the stick? Grab it, you jerk! Get the stick! Get it! Get the stick! Get it! Look at the stick! Don't look at the stick! Dick. Okay, grab the- Gah! <sighs> I don't know why it's so impossible. Okay, fast forward out of the cotton candy machine now. <sighs> Yay, warp mode worked. Now it's- it seems to suggest that the bee is gonna kill me, because I don't think I have any cotton candy. Well, I have a little bit. I can just run faster than the bee can catch up with me, so what does it matter? Like, that's broken. <laughs> I think the bee is supposed to be- maybe- maybe the hint that gives- or the- the cheat that gives me infinite lives also lets me run away from the bee faster? I don't know what's up with that. <coughs> okay, there's one other accessible area I can get to, but I don't think I can make any progress in that area. Because we can go left as well, we can go through that one. But at least as of the last time I tried this area, I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. Is there an attack? No, there's nothing. So this area just has fish swimming in the air, quick save state. And there's nothing else I can do here. And then here I get creepy monsters coming towards me. I can't duck, I can't run. And if they touch me, I die. Don't know what I'm supposed to do with those, really. Little bit of a mystery. Do I just be brave and walk right past them? Just pretend like they're not even there? Nope, that kills you. Do I run? I can't go left now. Do I not look at them? You're not real. You're just a figment of my imagination. There's nothing here. 
Ah, dead. I'm pretty sure what I'm supposed to do is progress here somehow, but I can't! I can't figure it out! I don't understand! See, and if I press right, then it eats my face, and I don't know why that didn't work that last time, because it's supposed to eat your face. <coughs> Come on, game! Oh, man, this this is farther than I ever got in... No, wait, no, I did get to this screen in childhood, but... Good lord, I, what am I supposed to do? It says timing is crucial, but I don't understand how timing is crucial at all. Timing doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> Why this... Oop, well, that's bad. Hmm. If only I still had the ball. I don't have the ball. I don't have the ball. And I'm dead. <laughs> Yay! I don't get- I just- I don't- I- I don't get it! 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 What are you supposed to do? It's amazing that the hint book helps none. The hint book is a hundred percent useless. Are there keyboard buttons I can press? I'm pressing all the keyboard buttons. Why does it come with a hint book if the hints are useless? You'll get two practice throws. Goody! The hedges are important. What the hell do you mean? Position yourself in front of the hedge that's empty. None of the hedges are empty! If you catch the ball six times, nonsense happens. But it doesn't! It doesn't! It doesn't! Uh, 